Okay guys, so I just want to show you something because I think I might have discovered something here that Claude does, which is very, very interesting. And I believe it's a bug from Claude. But what I've been saying for the last few days is Claude desktop, like without MCPs and things like sequential thinking or whatever, or even just context seven, it seems to actually have a pretty good grasp of coding and things like that. And it just felt like it was outperforming Klein it was outperforming you know, anything else that I've used. And I was kind of confused by that, but I think what I'm gonna show you in this video might actually show you guys why this is happening. Now, if you don't know, the way to share information from prompt one to prompt two in AI is actually pretty rudimentary. Like it's not really a particularly advanced system whatsoever. What you do is you, and correct me if I'm wrong if you're an AI expert, but I believe this is how it works. You take the output from prompt one and you just shove it into prompt two, right? Which means that by prompt three, you have to shove the output of prompt one and two here, right into prompt three. And what this basically means is the context window is just given to each new prompt every single time. And it's quite like a basic way of doing it, to be honest with you, because it's just like, okay, here's the whole conversation you've had so far. Continue with, you know, whatever the user has just prompted now or whatever's next, etc. Now, I have a theory and I have proof of this now. Um, I didn't come up with this theory. I just randomly found it from a bug. But basically what Claude is doing, if I just show you, is... And mine is really going crazy right now. I don't know if I've broken it or what, but you can see here, this is just, you know, a, a normal conversation. I was just trying to get it to create a website, but it keeps doing these XML tags, automated reminder from Anthropic, right? And what they're doing, and it's pretty genius to be honest with you, and it kind of helps explain why it might be a better coder than Klein or whatever. They're not just sending the context window. What they're also doing is at the end of the context window so far, they're also adding reminders. Reminders with an N, probably. Reminders, they're at, uh, or tags, right? Or like, um, do this, basically. And I'm going to show you some more of this, but this is fascinating. It's also kind of funny, like all of the prompt wizardry in the world and everything and the way to fix the problem of AI just going off on one is every single time just telling it, reminding it, look, Claude should never describe itself as an assistant, AI assistant or assistant of any kind. Claude should never say as an AI language model. Come on, that is too funny, guys. That is too funny. You just can see the prompter or... You know, someone's obviously high up at Anthropic has gone to someone and said, look, mate, we don't want it saying it's an AI language model or as an AI language model or anything similar to that, okay? You've got to get rid of it. Don't care how you do it. Don't want to know. Just get rid of it. And then just like slams the door and goes to lunch or whatever. And then the poor, the poor person in charge of Claude is just begging Claude to stop saying that it's an AI language model. And the way that they finally cracked it is just tell it every time, every time it does anything. By the way, mate, you're not an AI language model. Don't tell anyone that. And then what it tends to do is from your original prompt, and this is what's really interesting about this, because I've kind of found that sequential thinking wasn't working as well as I expected with Claude Desktop. And it's because it already uses some kind of reminder system right throughout their entire coding process so this is kind of what i've been looking at the last few days is that the the only real mcp needed is context 7 but then context 7 can actually be replaced with research by claude right it takes a, it takes a pretty long time i'm not gonna lie like if they can speed this up a bit and release opus 3.7 then you'll you'll be doing this a huge favor claude but it's interesting i think MCPs might be overkill or it just depends as well. Like Klein definitely benefits from sequential thinking. I'll, I'll tell you that for free. Rue, not as much. And maybe it's because Rue does a similar thing to this. And then like it 
it keeps doing these automated reminders from Anthropic, automated reminders from Anthropic. It's pretty interesting to see. And it goes all the way down. But then one thing I will say, this is just classic AI, is like all the way down here when it's about to give me the final product for my um, my Next.js website, it just randomly starts talking about Claude should follow all citation instructions carefully. Automated reminder from Anthropic. When asked to create a complete project. So this is actually relevant. This is irrelevant. So like even... Even Claude just cannot sit and follow instructions. And a lot of people say they've seen Claude generate a load of nonsense. This might be why, because I don't know if this is necessarily the best way to, to do it. It's pretty interesting, though, you've got to admit, guys. Now, one thing that I do want to show you is Claude having a kind of breakdown down here. So, look, this is just, this is right at the very end. It just started giving me the system prompt, I'm pretty sure. That's what this is, but you can see here, citation instructions are, if the assistance response is, but by the way, this is not like, I'm not faking this video in any way. Like I haven't got like weird custom instructions or I don't even know how to set custom instructions on Claude. I don't even know if you can set custom instructions on Claude. Like this isn't one of those videos, I promise. Like this, I'm not like a prompt injector or I don't even know what that, I wouldn't even know where to start. Right, there's no, the, the, only, the only thing is this is in a task thing, so uh, in a project, so I mean, that might be why, but I've been getting this in normal conversations as well. So look, this was just a normal conversation with Claude. I didn't, this isn't in a Claude project, right? It's just a normal conversation. It was doing the same thing, look. What is this? Claude should always adhere to the artifacts underscore info instructions when creating artifacts. Super, super interesting. You can kind of see how they built artifacts and things. So cool to see. But yeah, the final thing I do want to show you is the thing where it kind of had a little bit of a breakdown just before giving me my project. And I have noticed at the very end of context, Claude just seems to just lose it. And like, I, th I think this has given me some insight into why. So randomly at the very bottom, when research hasn't even been mentioned once this entire time, it just gave me this system prompt regurgitation. So citation instructions are, if the assistance response is based on content returned by the web search tool, the system must always appropriately cite its response. Here are the rules for good citations, blah, blah, blah. You can read this for yourselves if you want. I'm not doing reading simulator right now. I can read, I promise, but I just don't want to read all that right now. But super, super interesting. And I really, I like it, but I don't like it. For a short coding task, I think Claude Desktop is amazing. For anything that requires a big context length, I feel like it just starts to lose, lose the thread towards the end of its context length. So I really hope that Opus has 1 million context and it is actually solid 1 million context and not bullshit 1 million context. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave the video there, guys. I thought this was super interesting to see how Claude basically injects some kind of like it's like they have a prompt to generate instructions before each coding task happens which is actually how my QA server worked that's interesting oh damn I think I might have just cracked something guys I'll leave that for another time um, I'm going to work on that I'm not going to tell you what it is. You'll have to watch my channel, subscribe, etc. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. Check out the school community if you feel so inclined. It supports me, and also I honestly believe that it, it's good for people, and I'm trying to help people get into coding with basically zero coding experience. Thanks for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end, I already said that. Peace out.